Hi, I'm Keith Merrill, and I have with me Eric Long. And today we want to give you our, this week's update on our project. Well, since our last update, of course, a lot has happened. Uh, landscaping are almost completed. For those of you who are here already, you can just see how it's just absolutely blooming everywhere, and it's giving us a real wow factor. The tongue and groove, which is the ceiling uh, area, is in progress. It's going up. So we made a lot of progress on that this week. More flooring inside. The carpet is, is just completed a few minutes ago in the pro shop, or almost completed. Uh, we started installing the louvers on the roof to, to uh, cover the HVAC units, so that's making progress. Office furniture has come in, quite a bit of it, and uh, so that's great progress. That means those offices are ready for the furniture. And you can see behind me and on down the way uh, all the patio furniture that has arrived. And of course it's not quite in place yet, but uh, so the furniture is up and coming. Well, I could go on and on and on of what's uh, happened in this last week, uh, but I want to concentrate today on our kitchens. Kitchens are the thing that we as members rarely see is behind the scenes. And as you know, one of the major items of this project was to replace the old kitchen in the golf clubhouse. It was too small, very outdated, couldn't was more out, it was the original kitchen. So the, <clears throat> Eric's going to show you the new kitchen. It was expanded and that's why Eric and his immediate staff moved to the new administration building because we took that space to expand the kitchen. The other kitchen that's more, let's say, we'll call it a grill, if you'll recall, out here on the cart path, we had a grill that was under a tent. It was too small, it became very popular. Uh, it didn't meet code, and so we have built a grill into this new facility, which is really going to be neat, and Eric's going to give you some details on that. So I'll now turn it over to Eric. All right, let's go. So we're in the pavilion kitchen. You can see a lot more things have been accomplished here. You can see we have a pickup window. This is our heat lamp. So when the guys are working and gals are working, they'll make all their food items and then put it in the window. We have an expediting window if you come over here. So when all the food items are, are ready for uh, to serve you, we'll take it and we'll put it in the window. There'll be an expediter on the other side and pass it through this window here and give you access and be able to take it to the table. As far as our equipment, we have a uh, Pit Pitco uh, grill or um, fryers. So we have two fryers. We have a flat top. This is a Vulcan flat top. This is called a salamander. Uh, this pretty much is something that's used to melt any cheese product. Uh, so it's a nice tool we have. We have a small uh, convection oven here. It's a Vulcan. Uh, we have a uh, 48 inch uh, grill here that's going to be able to use for uh, cooking any of our burgers, hot dogs, chicken, of that nature. We have a uh, four burner stove. Um, that's going to be able to use for heating up any sauces. We do have uh, refrigeration below the grill, so this is where you keep any of your uh, food items that you're going to be cooking. We do have on this side, this is more of your mise en place for, say, let's say your lettuce tomato setup or any of your cheeses or any of that nature will be over here. This is a, a hot and cold well, so typically during lunch service you need it to be cold. During uh, dinner service you need it to be hot, so you're able to do that. We pan over here, we have a, um, a sink for uh, washing your hands. We also have another, uh, it's called a pizza prep table. So we'll have all of the mise en place for our salads and also for uh, any of our pizza items. And then we got the infamous uh, pizza oven over there that we'll be making uh, a lot of pizzas very shortly. So we're on the back side of the pavilion. So you can see we have a uh, roll-in refrigerator. So any of our production type of things will go into here. We have a small freezer that will be used for any of our french fried items. Uh, this is a, a rationale oven, so we have a total of two here. Uh, this is really a great uh, tool to be used. It, it steams, it bakes, it grills, it does a little bit of everything. So uh, it's all temperature controlled. You can use an app, enable, so let's just say we had a prime rib in here. Uh, it would give us a notification saying that it's ready uh, and the internal temperature reaches 135 degrees. So it's a really cool, cool device. We also have, this is called a tilt skillet. So this is where you make soup, sauces, and stocks. So it's a really great tool. It, it heats up very fast. 
And then we have the back of the uh, pizza oven here. And we have the Hobart dishwasher over there. So a lot of great tools that we'll be able to use very soon. So you now have entered into the uh, main kitchen space. This is where uh, we'll, we'll serve the pub space and Vista and also the commissary uses for any of the uh, pavilion kitchen as well. So we'll walk through here. This is a receiving area. We have a freezer here. And then if we paint on down the way, we have a, uh, a cooler that will be used for meat and dairy. And then another cooler that's used for produce and then any of our production. We do have some roll-in refrigerators over here. That will be used for any of our bigger parties and anything that we need to use for that space. I'll take you on to the production side of the kitchen. We have a, uh, a sous vide machine. So this is low temperature cooking. We have a Vulcan uh, convection oven. We have an eight burner stove. Because this is more of the production size, we have two tilt skillets. Again, this is used for soup, sauces, and stocks. We have a rationale oven on the back side. So again, this is used for uh, more, more of our mass production for everything from prime ribs to turkeys to chickens, everything under the sun. We have a Hobart mixer. This is a vacuum pack machine. So this is vacuum seals uh, and anything that locks in the juices. This is our three compartment sink. This is our refrigerator that we use for the uh, main line. So this is our real true main line that will be used for all of our, our preparations for Vista in the pub area. So this is called the, uh, the hot line. So you have a, a uh, well here that will be used for any of the visa plus that we need to cook any of your uh, appetizers or entrees. So you have a grill, flat top, salamander, 10 burner stove, and then we also have a uh, a hot, a hot and cold well, and then we also have a heat lamp over here. So when the food items are done, we put it in the window. This is a Blodgett convection oven, so this is called a finishing oven. So let's just say you're cooking or sauteing a nice piece of fish, we we'll place it in here and finish it off. We have uh, another pizza oven. We have So we have two pizza ovens on property, so you have one in the pavilion kitchen and then one here. Uh, this is mostly going to be used for more flatbreads, pizzas over in the, in the pavilion space. We have a, uh, a fryer in this space and then over on this side here uh, this is our pantry area so this will be used to make any appetizers or salads uh, and then be able to pick it up on a window over on this side so it's a great space. I'll take you to the service station now. This is the service station. Uh, the servers are going to have point of sales in this area here, uh, so they won't be cluttered in the kitchen space. We have a lot of storage areas, so we'll be able to put our salt and pepper shakers, any of our napkins, and then this is really where the servers get all your drinks. Uh, so we have a um, an espresso uh, machine coming very soon to make cappuccinos and espresso. We have our Coke products here. We have an iced tea machine and a coffee machine. Uh, and then our ice machine back here, and then we have a nice uh, wine refrigerator that will be able to keep uh, temperature control. Uh, so it's great, great things coming. Well, thanks, Eric, for those update on the kitchen. We're outside here, outside of the uh, Vista room on the new patio area. You can see all the really neat furniture that we have, and this is really exciting. I want to give a special thanks to the staff, to Eric and his staff for all the extra work they're doing. They're still running the club on a daily basis, but they're here every day on a project. Constant questions come up. Where does this go? Where does that go? Is that right? Is this right? And uh, Eric and Travis and, and his staff have been working really hard. And so uh, we just need to be mindful of that. Uh, remember, we're about a month away from really wrapping this whole thing up. So I appreciate it, and that's it for today. Thanks.